Hey y'all, ZJ Deadman here with Rockbreaker Studios, and I'm going to show you some of the basic ships in Atlas. Let's start off with what you can make right at Freeport from the shipwrights. Alright, this is a dinghy, and it's kind of worthless by itself, seeing that it would take you forever to get anywhere. I suppose they're meant to be on... And you see it doesn't control very well. You can just control it by eh, rotating. I mean, you can roll backwards, I suppose. But yeah, not ideal to get anywhere in the world. I suppose once you have a bigger ship, you can probably attach a dinghy to the bigger ship. All right, my raft. I don't know who added an anchor to it, but that's cool. So you gotta open sails a little bit to be able to move. And now you can rotate your sails. And like, if you wanna go kind of backwards, you kinda gotta do this, go down to the 180. We'll open the sails a little bit more. We want to turn 90 degrees, so we're turning 90 degrees. Actually, probably better off at 112.5. So, that's going to make you turn the direction that you're rotating the sails at. So, if you want to go straight, just go to zero. And that's what I was doing wrong in my first video. And while you're out here, you can pull up your compass press right trigger and see what your heading is. Obviously, we are now heading almost north. Northeast a little bit. Yeah. And you can fully open all sails, go quite a bit faster, especially with the wind at your back in the upper right corner. Shows you which direction you're going and which way the wind is heading. Now if we want to turn around back to the thing, we go to the 90 degrees. And we can also do this on the map, where if we have the compass up... Uh, how did I do this? Alright, so if we have the compass out, it kind of takes us to this weird little camera. For some reason, I'm not sure what the point of this is. Maybe it's um, maybe it's a screen for when you have a sextant, then you can map the stars. Oh, hi, seagull. Nope. We're gonna ram it. <laughs> oh, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Now, if you fully close all sails, there you go. And that's the easiest and cheapest way to get around at first, when you first join. And it takes, there's like a three minute cooldown to fix the damage I just did. Now for the sloop. Obviously, you can get a ladder on here, or you have a ladder on here. Uh, and you climb up the back here, like so. Alright, you can hold over here to raise anchor. Pretty much the same deal. You can fully open sails. And then you can use steering wheel. It also helps to full or like open up this one as well to go a lot faster. But for sake of just these basics. Now this one doesn't handle as tight as the raft, so but it's a lot more sturdy and capable of getting you places. 
And uh, if you hold LT, you can shoot if you had a gun, which I don't. And I'm assuming this is when you hire those crew members. You can, like, if I press LB and down, they stop whatever I told them to do. LB and R would just be, like, commands. Left trigger, they're going to shoot at whatever I click on, like there. Bam, bam, go attack. Yeah, I'm assuming this all happens once I hire crew members. But yeah, pretty cool. And in order to make the sloop, you need to get your skills up here. And you need the basics of sailing and shipwright to make the sloop. And then just to stop, we can just uh, lower anchor. And we can uh, fully close all the sails. Alright, just a quick little look at the first couple of ships you'll run across and some of the basics on how to use them. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.